I am ready when you are, and I will hit the button when you give me the little snap. I'll start doing the snap. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are we good? Yep. You sure? Yep. I think <laughs> so. <laughs> Did you know? Oh my. Still working at them. <laughs> oh crap. Okay. Fine. Did you know that the prevalence of eating disorders is three times as high in athletes compared to the general population? I believe this is an issue because athletes need to maintain proper nutritional habits to uh, perform at a high level. Hello, my name is Adler Mora and this is Fueling Your Fitness. So, growing up, I always ate unhealthy. I would eat whatever I wanted whenever I wanted. I can distinctly remember um, my mom making me a whole box of mac and cheese and two hot dogs and I was eight years old. It really didn't add up right for me. Uh, I was going on track to being an overweight kid and that's not what I wanted for myself. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, how can I imp improve my performance on the wrestling mat besides just doing what I was doing? So I resorted to healthy eating. And healthy eating can be a lot of things. It can be eating in a caloric deficit. It can be trying new diets. And it can be just cutting out certain things like sodium, carbohydrates, sugar, anything at all that has a negative impact on your body. Um, and for me, um, I kept track of what I was putting in my body for eight weeks. And I tried a bunch of different diets to see what worked best for me. So why was I doing this? Yes, that is me. Um, I have been wrestling for over a decade at this point. It is my pride and soul. It is what I like to do. Um, but I was tired of being just mediocre at it. Um, I remember that the last few years I've been able to make it to the state finals and win at D3s. But when it came down to all states, I was just shy of winning that first place. And the more I thought about it, the more I considered what I should do. And that's when I came to the decision that I needed to drop down a weight class to wrestle at different kids. Um, now, there, there are some complications that come with this, and some people probably wouldn't agree what I was doing. But I knew that if I did it the right way and I did it healthfully, I would be able to drop down the weight and still feel good. So I tried a bunch of different diets. I tried a no-carb diet. I tried keto, I tried being a vegetarian, and I tried a diet where I still incorporated carbs into my diet. Um, I limited the intake of food that I ate, and I ate one to two meals a day. Now, from the looks I'm getting, this probably doesn't sound very healthy. However, I was meeting the amount of nutrients I needed every day, and not only was I feeling better, but I was performing better. Now, from my community connection, I used my weekly Zoom meetings for wrestling refereeing to talk to ex-military and wrestling coaches about what I should be eating. These people I trust very much, and I've been around them for the better part of over half of my life. Um, you know, they were in the military, they had to put, put their bodies through extreme duress to figure out what needed to be done, and I believe that they know they know best about this expertise. Now, the impact that this had. As a result, not only did I feel better physically, I also felt better mentally. I knew that I was eating healthy, and I knew that I was doing what was right for my body, and therefore, I felt better about myself. Now, also on the mat, I was dominating everyone I, needed, I went up against. No one, no one could compete with me. I was winning matches left, right, and center, and to this day, my record is currently 110-17, so the results speak for itself. Um, 
And all of this was just because I could not win all states. For the last two years, I've gone runner up, and this year I am committed to winning. Moving forward, like I said, I reached my goal of losing the weight healthily and getting my weight down, but the job is not done. I'm going to continue to eat like this because I'm getting everything I need out of my diet, and I feel great. Um, I'm a firm believer that if you eat good and feel good, you will perform good, and I'm going to be an All-State Champion and a New England's Placer. Thank you. Any questions? Nice job, Evan. Thank you. So what? So out of those diets you tried, what did one of them like work the best? Uh, yes. So out of the four diets I tried, I definitely uh, preferred the no carb diet the most. Uh, keto was terrible. I don't know how people do that. I don't know what keto is really. Is I it no it's, carbs? It's high carb, uh, low. It, it's it, it's high. It's low fat, high carb. Yeah. So you like actually eat a ton of carbs, but it's and, like, and it's supposed to like fuel your energy and help you work out more. But as, a, as a result, I wasn't losing the weight I needed to lose, so it just wasn't working for me. Oh, it's it's mostly geared towards people that are um, on the obese side, okay. and they have that weight to lose. So you weren't, yeah. How huh? say what weight class were you in before you cut weight? Uh, I've been a one twenty the last three years of high school, but this year I'm one thirteen. What are you? One thirteen. Are you kidding me, Adler? I'm healthy. Are you still recording? <laughs> <laughs> so you song. lost seven pounds? Yeah. And went from, in what time period? Uh, it took about four weeks, because the, the last two diets were the ones that helped me cut my weight down. Okay. Adler, you don't see like a drop in energy or anything like that? No, because I'm eating healthy. The last... The last three years I've been saying I was going to go to 113 and I was told that I could not and I would feel terrible. That's why I did my research, I figured out the diet that worked for me, and I feel fine. So you said one to two meals, like is it, like are they big meals? Like, I know you took some pictures, but like, mm -hmm. tell me through the meals. So yeah, for lunch I'm eating four ounces of chicken, uh, five pieces of iceberg lettuce, 12 grapes, and 15 almonds. And then for dinner I'll have another four ounces of chicken with a singular scrambled egg and I'm just drinking water and like iced tea throughout that. Have you kept up with the diet? Absolutely. I mean, obviously now that the project's over, I do have my cheat days, I won't lie. Yeah. But yeah, I'm maintaining this. So what did you, you, you wrestled in 113 last weekend? Uh, at the King tournament, yeah. You did? And I won. But not last weekend was the other one, right? Last weekend was the King tournament. It was? Yes. What was the one before that? There was a Vermont. Right. Oh, the Vermont one? Yeah, I was 120 for that. That's just because our 113 wasn't at 106. Oh, God, Adler. What do you, when you go to college next year, you plan on wrestling for them? Yes. 